Yo, what's good people? Welcome to day 29 of the weight loss transformation, the mindset transformation, and most importantly of all, the lifestyle transformation. So hopefully you can see that. I do apologize. It's a bit blurry. 363.8 pounds on the scale this morning. And I do apologize as well. I didn't show my food in yesterday's video. Um, if you're not aware, we are going zero carbohydrate on the Sunday, the 7th of April. I think I said Sunday, the 6th of April. I'm a mong. Ignore me. Sunday, the 7th of April. So I was eating up some of the food I had, which just meant a bit of extra yogurt, a bit of extra potatoes, and an extra wrap. So probably just a bit of water, still in a caloric deficit, and then I had a little bit of Easter chocolate as well. I think it was around 3,200 calories for the day, which is a bad. However, on to today's nutrition, beef and bacon. I said I'm going zero carbohydrate on the Sunday. That is true. However, I went to the shop and stocked up, and I'm not going to be buying food I'm not going to be eating. So I've had a low zero carbohydrate meal today and again a bit of chocolate less than half an easter eggs worth probably around 200 250 calories worth of chocolate and then that meal was around i'll probably say it's around 2000 calories maybe a bit more so still in a big deficit even like that and obviously it's not zero carbohydrate it should be should you be mixing high fat, low carb, and then having a chocolate bar, definitely not. However, it's only for today and likely tomorrow because there's still a lot of Easter chocolate in my house. This is the problem, but I'm going to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it, and I'm going to still be in a calorie deficit and not worry about that. So that's likely going to happen tomorrow. Also, I am guaranteeing now we're going to have a low weigh-in tomorrow because that's all I've eaten. We're probably going to have a flush of water, to be honest with you. So I'm not having the potatoes, I'm not having wraps, I'm not even having fruit, yogurt, all that stuff. I have some chocolate. That's not going to retain water too much because it was just a bit of chocolate, digests very easily and fast, and then no other carbs giving me water. So I'm guaranteeing a low weigh in tomorrow because we are going to flush water out from that. And then I'm likely going to eat the same meal tomorrow and we'll see what happens with the scale. It's probably going to start going down again. It might be a bit of fat because I will still be in a deficit. However, it's likely going to be from losing water. So just giving you a heads up now, like I'm, I'm saying the opposite that I was saying all the other couple of weeks ago saying, oh, I'm eating carbs now. The scale's not moving because I'm starting to retain water. Now we're going to see this water flush out. So it's going to be interesting to see the drops. Again, it's not going to be fat. There might be a little bit of fat because I might be eating in a steep calorie deficit. However, it's likely going to be mainly water. And one of the reasons why I'm doing carnival then is I'm not going to be tracking calories or I'm not going to be concerned, sorry. I think I'm going to still track the calories because it's going to be interesting to see for the videos. And I promise I'll show all my meals and the calories for the day. However, I'm not concerned on eating a set amount of calories following the carnival lifestyle. I'm going to eat as much as I want, as long as it's zero carbohydrate or low carbohydrate. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to eat until I'm full. And that is it. So maybe some days I want to eat a lot of food. I'm going to eat that much. Maybe some days I don't want to eat as much. I'm not going to eat as much. And that's one of the things with the carnivore diet is you follow your satiety signals. You feel how full you get and then you stop. So if you're very, very hungry, you'll just keep eating. And you're likely still to see results. One, because you're cutting out a food group. Two, because it's whole food. So your body's actually using it properly. And three, I don't think I have a third. Uh, I'm sure I do, but I can't think of it right now, just going off the top of my head. So did train back today. Didn't do loads, as you can see, just did some pull downs and then some row variations here. Keeping it simple, people, this is all you really need for some back. Pull, pull down and then get on a cable stack like I do. Get a tricep rope on there and then set it to different angles. We have high, we have medium and we have low and then we just keep pulling so now i'm pulling from above doing some face pulls um obviously i've been out at the gym for a bit so i didn't want to go crazy but i could definitely see the pump in my back even through all the fat i can definitely see my muscles working especially my rear delts even here to be honest so elbow feeling good on this this wasn't really giving me a problem but i'm going to be training arms tomorrow with my brother again and then we'll see maybe have a rest while i just to the new nutrition as well and then monday we'll be after it maybe trying some pushing movement to see how that goes so 
I don't know. We'll see, people. But rest day Sunday, I'm, I'm going out with my girlfriend anyway. So I'm going to be walking with her and getting some steps in and doing that. And of course, I walked after this workout. But I think that's all I've really got to say, people. I'm looking forward to hitting this carnival challenge for 30 days. Hopefully going beyond that, to be honest, because I do love that way of eating. And I'll probably speak about it more in my plans in tomorrow's episode. But just giving you the heads up that likely again we're going to see a dip in the scale and just some post workout posing can't really see my back too much here to be honest but i definitely feel i'm leaner here i, I just feel it and I, I i look it to be fair and then some back bit here but i'll see you tomorrow people thank you so much and enjoy your weekend